So what I'm going to go through right now is just how to essentially set up your throttle plate. So you'll see in the manual, I gave an example of where to go for about an eight inch auger and how many bushes per minute, but a good starting place. Another little quick trip tip is always, why you got this out is give this a tighten. It can vibrate loose during shipping or, or just the vibration of the auger. So never hurts to give that a tighten when you're working on this stuff. Now right here, all you're gonna do is you can hold it with a wrench in the back, loosen these up. Now you just wanna slide this up to about halfway. It's a good place to start. You can go all the way to the top if you wanna go faster, but if you go all the way to the top on an eight inch auger, you're probably gonna to be too much. So a good place to start is about there. And I just hold it with my hand and I reach up behind and tighten it up. Of course, you don't need to use a nut driver, um, but it just makes doing it a lot simpler. Turn it around. Same on this side. If you want to, you can mark this for next year. You can make notes on here. You can do whatever you want, but it's a good place to start. So once you've got this all set, literally get a chunk of wire or zip ties or whatever you got around the farm and wire this to your auger. You may want to remove the safety shield um, to get a nice tight fit, but keep that in mind if you do remove it, the moment you take this off, you put it back on just for obvious safety reasons. Now, what we've got here is our simple nozzles. So like, that's just your simple there. You've got your brown nozzle cap and there's a gasket. So just snap that in. You wanna run it parallel. So the pattern is with the throttle plate in that direction. Now, what I usually do at this point is I zip tie it on so that it doesn't vibrate out when you're augering and have an issue or a, a real mess on your hands. Once, you, once you're good to go, flood the auger, get your bushels per minute figured out, and then once you have that, you're ready to start treating. Thank you.